Irritable bowel syndrome is related not only to the individual uh, uh, factors, but also to external factors, such as geographical, cultural, and also environmental. And uh, this is the topic of a very interesting talk that has been given by Professor Kokan Gui here in Bologna during the IBS Bologna Days uh, uh, 2016. And uh, Professor Gui, we, um, which are the geographical uh, aspects that uh, are related to the IBS? Okay, the geographical aspects of IBS is that when you try to look at IBS across the world, it appears that there are differences, but really, in reality, there's very little difference, and a lot of it is determined by the language, the culture, and the environmental factors. And the cultural aspects, which are, you have spoken about the language, why the language has this important influence on IBS? Because irritable bowel syndrome is based predominantly on the symptoms that are described by the patient. How the patient feels, how they interpret it, how they describe it and express it will determine whether we recognize that this person has irritable bowel or not. And the language that we use to describe it will be determined by the culture that we grew up in, the, the perceptions, the priorities for each different culture. So in some, uh, in some countries, uh, uh, the, this disease could be under-evaluated because the, the patient doesn't tell the reality of the disease? Yes, absolutely. So one uh, very clear difference is that in Asian countries, particularly in places like China, where food is considered to be important, then the patient relates it more to eating or postprandial, whereas in another country where the food is not considered to be so important, they are relating it more to the bowel habit. And which are uh, the environmental aspects that have influence on IBS? One of the major environmental factors influencing IBS is the exposure to different bacteria and microbes in the environment. So we think that many parts of the world, we see a condition known as post-infectious IBS, and that having an infection of the intestine gives rise to irritable bowel. And yet, surprisingly, from some countries in the world like Nicaragua and India, where you expect many, many people to have food poisoning or gastroenteritis, the incidence of irritable bowel is extremely low. The difference between the diet that are used around the world doesn't have an influence by themselves on IBS. Some of the dietary factors do have an influence. So, for example, uh, we, we're talking about some countries like Mexico, uh, Korea and Thailand where they eat a lot of spices and chilies. We find that when they take chilies, they feel a burning in the abdomen and this could be one of the manifestations of irritable bowel. On the other hand... Uh, so there, there could be some confusion between the two, the yes, two uh, situations. Yes, right. So again, they might... this, the 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 patient or the person suffering it may think that this is a dyspepsia, but in reality it is irritable bowel.